I'm back y'all okay this is my review for season 15 episode 5 I'm gonna try to make this really 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 quick so we pick back up off with Marlo kicking in Kenya's door I already explained in the last uh review she's totally wrong they leave they go downstairs they're talking Sheree calls Kenya and you know wants to know what's going on Sonya wants to say something she gets on the phone Kenya dismisses Sonya. I felt like that was so wrong. But you know what, Marlo? Take a page out of Sonya's book. When Kenya said, oh, you can leave Sonya, Sonya said, you ain't got to tell me twice. And she probably couldn't get out there fast enough. She left. That's what you do, Marlo. If somebody don't want to be your friend, they don't want to be your friend. It's all these people in the world. I don't know how many people it is. Billions. I don't know. Millions. It's a lot. If Kenya does not want to be your friend, she doesn't have to be your friend. Fine. Get another friend. You don't need her validation. I don't understand Marlo. So Sonya left. And I was and I was with Sonya. You're not going to tell me, oh, you could go home. I could have stayed home, Kenya. I could have stayed home had I known, you know, it was going to be about this. And, and Sonya left. And then she came back and was trying to talk to Kenya. And Kenya's like, uh, who's speaking? Who's speaking? No, that's why Sonya, I don't feel like Sonya really cares for Kenya because Kenya, I'm sorry, she is dismissive sometimes. She can be very dismissive to people who she feel like she don't, you know, she don't do them. She dismissed uh, Sonya and Sonya left and I agree with Sonya. And Sonya made a great point. You wanted me to call you at my event when I was working to see if you okay. You won't even come out the hotel room. And I was on Sonya's... Uh, Side. And I feel like that Sonya needs to come out. That's the real Sonya right there. So yeah. on my name. Not this old Oh yeah, girl, I just sent it you. Girl, girl, Sonya, that's not you. The real Sonya. I like that Sonya. That's right. Oh, you ain't got to tell me twice and get out. That's right. I like that Sonya. Sonya, you need to be more like that. Marlo, Sonya ain't thinking about Kenya being her friend. She's really not. Yes, in the beginning when she thought Candy and Kenya was the best for that mommy nation uh shoot she my opinion used them as yeah, she should um for that but after that I don't feel like she really cares for Kenya which is fine it's fine for her not everybody doesn't have to be friends but you do need to respect each other and the way Kenya was like well you can leave you can leave Sonya I felt like that was that was wrong then Kenya gets sick she said she was recently getting over COVID. You know, they had to rush her to the hospital. She was feeling dizzy and she left. She didn't do the performance or anything. Now this is gonna sound real petty, but do I feel like Kenya was as sick as she saying that she was? I don't know. I'm not gonna speak to that. But do I really feel like that? Do I really feel like Kenya was really? She probably had a little cold or something like that. Did it warn her leaving? I'm going to just smile. I don't know. It's like, no. Nah. She was sick. She left. You know. And the ladies really didn't have anything else to do. They really had nothing else to do. That would have never happened on another season. At the seasons prior to, that would not have happened. The show would have gone on. Even though it was Kenya's trip, I feel like the show would have gone on. I really feel like that. I feel like these ladies don't know what to do without Kenya, without Candy. I feel like they do not know how to produce anything. Sheree is not a lead. Marlo is not a lead. Sonya is not a lead. Drew is not even a lead. Monietta is not a lead. They need Kenya and they need Candy to produce things. And it, you can't have a show like that. You cannot have a show like that. You see what happened. Kenya left. The show should have never ended because of that. Last season when Kenya, Marlo wanted Kenya out of the car. because She didn't want uh, Kenya to go with her on a trip. They stayed there for hours because Kenya would not leave. She wanted to get paid. But that goes to show you certain people you need to be, they need to be there. And the other ladies could do that, but they do not 
want to be lead. I don't think Sheree wants to be the lead of the show. I think Sheree is cool with, I'm not going to say they the, they backseat ladies, but I think Sheree is cool with letting other people lead and then she can kind of like figure her way in that way. But I don't think Sheree wants to be a lead. The show's not going to work like that. So they all, you know, the next morning, they left. And they got food. Marlo said she tried to send flowers to Ke to Kenya, but Kenya had already checked out. And and to Marlo's point, I think Mar like I said, I think Marlo is a giving person. I feel like Marlo is the type of person. This person, something you're sick, she's going to send you some flowers. She'll send you some a care basket. Something happened to your family, she'll send you something. However. She expects that from people. That's a, I really do believe that's the type of Mar person Marlo is. She's she's really a given person in that way. But she doesn't understand that that's fine. And if people reciprocate that to you, that's probably going to be people who you don't dog out. But you can't dog people out and then want them to give you something. It's not going to happen. They, they don't feel sympathetic for you. However wrong you may feel it is. And however wrong you feel like, oh, they should put their differences aside because of this, this, this. Maybe they should. Maybe they shouldn't. But they don't have to do it. So she wanted to send Kenya some flowers. Said Kenya had already checked out within 30 minutes. I was kind of confused what Marla was saying about that part. But Kenya was already checked out. Candy and Mama Joyce. Mama Joyce comes over. How you doing, Mama Joyce? And her and Candy. Candy was like, I haven't talked to my mom in days. And it's the same old, same old. She's like, Mom, we're we, we going to be married coming up on nine years. And I feel like you still go in on Todd. And then Mama Joyce is like, well, I never see him. He, don't, he never, when I come over, he's always asleep. She, Candy was like, Mom, that's because he's avoiding you. Mama Joyce feels like Todd has changed. Has Todd changed? I think in the beginning, Todd was trying to be nice. His mama Joyce was coming for him. They saw each other. And he was being more nice in the beginning. Because mama Joyce really didn't care for him. As time, you know, went on, or is going on, he feels like not being around mama Joyce is better. In which I just feel like, you know, Mama Joyce, if you don't like him, that is your that's your opinion, but you don't have to express that. If you feel like Todd is using Candy, that's something for Candy to figure out. I'm just saying. Not saying that he is using her. You feel like he's not living up to what you want him to live up to for Candy? That's Candy's decision. It's not your life. Mama Joyce wants Candy to be with somebody or have a life that she would want to have. And everybody is entitled to their opinion. Even when Candy got the ring, she was like, Mom, that's the ring that I wanted. Even though it's a small ring, that's the ring that I wanted. You may have won a big diamond. That's not what I want. And she started crying. I feel like Mama Joyce wants somebody who is comparable is that the right word to candy's pay or above either above or at the same she don't feel like todd is at the same pay. i think it's all about the money part she don't feel like todd is here or here with the money she wants todd, somebody to be with candy like this or like this candy says she doesn't she doesn't care about things uh candy didn't even buy herself that she has a uh is that a bentley truck or rose she has a bit a Bentley truck. I think that's a Bentley truck. They bought that for her. Candy is not into materialistic things like that. And she said in previous seasons that she dated the billion, the millionaire guys. She dated all of them. And they have a bunch of women. They treat you like crap. And she didn't like it. It's Candy's choice. It's Candy's choice. She's, Mama Joy said, oh, I don't feel like he's teaching ace how to take the trash out and everything how to do little things but mama joyce at the end of the day that is between candy and that is between todd 
they are being well taken care of. They're healthy kids. They don't want for anything. They're financially taken care of. I don't know what Mama Joyce wants at this point. Candy's already married. They're not That's 10 years already. It's not Mama Joyce's choice. And she may feel like Candy's being used. Candy doesn't feel that way. It's not up to Mama Joyce to make that decision for her. And then Candy, <laughs> she was like, Mom, so what, what do you want your husband, to, your man to do? And Mama Joyce like, I don't have no man. Candy was like, exactly. I just feel like at this point, Mama Joyce and her opinions, she should just leave it with Aunt Bertha and Aunt Nora. Just talk to them about it. And y'all had y'all discussions. But you got to respect Todd. You just have to. You can't keep disrespecting him because it's not fair. Because if Todd come back and disrespect Mama Joyce, Candy's not going to like it. And Mama Joyce is not going to like it. And it's not fair for him you to keep beating him down, beating him down, beating him down. Just because you don't feel like he is worthy to be with your daughter. Glad to see Candy back, came back. People say, Candy, don't, Candy born, we need a Candy something. Because last, last episode, Candy or Drew, well, I ain't talking about Drew. Candy wasn't there. It didn't, didn't seem right. Last thing, Drew, Sheree, and Kenya meet up. And Sheree in that confessional with that green, I, that she looks so good in that green. I love the, that color green, the shoulder pads, the hair. I said, you go, Sheree. Sheree looked good in that um, confessional. They meet up to get uh, which IV, the IVs in their arm, you know, rejuvenate themselves. Sheree wants to talk about Drew telling her that she was lying about not receiving the She by Sheree items. The scene was so weak. It was so whack. I said, why are they talking about the Drew? Just buy it. If you wanted the She by Sheree bag, buy it. Why are you talking about that now? Sheree, why are you talking about it? It wasn't even worth talking about. That's what I'm saying. And then Drew... Talking about, oh, she can't use the word shooting because she's from Chicago. Please. They're going to end up recasting this show. And it's going to be all of y'all fault. Every single one. Except for Kenya. I feel like Kenya is really just relaxing this year. I really do. And it's not fair that she, the weight has to be all on her. That she has to divulge all of her life. And nobody else has to do anything. But I really don't feel like Kenya wants to film with this group of ladies. I, that's just my opinion. I don't feel like it. Even though Kenya and Nene did not get along, I feel like they wanted to film together for the show. I feel like they knew what time it was. They knew, hey, we got to make money together. And they filmed together, even though they were adversaries. And it worked. And we need Cynthia. We do. Portia. We do. I'm. You don't like Portia? You think Cynthia's boring? Now y'all see. Now you all see. Cynthia needs to be back. Portia needs to be back. Lanithia Leaks, even though the door's closed, the door's closed, needs to be back. That was pretty much the episode. Nothing spectacular. It's, it's like, like they're just, just going, going through, through the emotions. emotions. Wasting, wasting my 48, 48 minutes. They're really going through the motions. Not doing anything. Not doing anything. It's like worthless. I'm sorry. It's not easy if it's pointless. It's pointless. It is pointless. Don't like it. They're going to have to do some shaking up. Wouldn't be surprised if Kim Zosiak come back. I won't be surprised. I'm not saying she should come back. But I wouldn't be surprised if she came back. I just wouldn't be. That's my review, so I'll see y'all in the next episode. Bye.